Hiranyakashipu was the lord of Patal, the world below earth. He was proud of his younger brother, Hiranyaksha. My mighty brother has gone to snatch the earth and drag it to the bottom of the ocean. I am sure he will succeed, he told Queen Kayadu. Just then, a messenger called on him. Your Majesty, there's some bad news. Your brother Hiranyaksha was killed by Lord Vishnu who came in the form of Varaha, the wild boar. Hiranyakashipu took a vow to defeat Lord Vishnu. He went to Mount Mandara, stood on one leg and prayed day and night to Lord Brahma, the god of creation. In the absence of Hiranyakashipu, the Devas attacked the Asuras. As the Asuras ran for their lives, Indra, the lord of the Devas, charged at Hiranyakashipu's wife, Kayadu. Just then, sage Narada arrived at the palace. Stop, Indra! Do not touch her! She is going to have a child soon! Narada took Kayadu to his ashram. He spoke to the queen about Lord Vishnu's virtues. He taught her to pray to the Lord. Repeat this mantra. Om Namo Narayanaya. Queen Kayadu started chanting this mantra all the time. One morning, she felt tired. She decided to rest for some time. Suddenly, she heard the mantra, Om Namo Narayanaya. Om Namo Narayanaya. She was surprised. There was no one else in the ashram and she was not praying. I wonder who is reciting this mantra, she thought. Just then, sage Narada walked in. The queen bowed to him and said, I heard someone reciting the mantra, Om Namo Narayanaya, but no one else is here. Sage Narada smiled. It's your child inside you who's reciting the great mantra. He's going to be Lord Vishnu's greatest devotee. At that very moment, Lord Brahma appeared to Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu bowed 